When you're not looking, I might have to take them headlight bezels for mine. You think? <laughs> I just I just found some. A guy yeah. sent sending them to me from yeah. uh, Minnesota. Yeah. It's Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. We're here at the Columbiana Dime Breed Diesels Family Reunion Truck Show getting started. We have Doug Wakefield here and his buddy Mac with uh, the next giveaway, which uh, every every June, you said, right? Yeah. You have a drawing for a truck, and this is the truck coming up next June. What year is this? This is an 88 GMC Brigadier. 88, OK. This is, this is the fifth truck that Braden Tucker's found for us that we purchased through him. And uh, this one makes number eight that we're going to give away. Number eight, wow. Yeah. And what? Uh, what drivetrain is in this one? This has got an L10 Cummins with a 7-speed. Okay. I guess it originally was a Coca-Cola truck. Okay, and yeah, it makes uh, sense with a 7-speed. Yeah, he has, uh, Braden put it back together and, and decked it out as a Coca-Cola truck in memory of his Aunt Linda. Yeah. She, was, she collected a lot of Coca-Cola memorabilia. Somewhere under the hood, he, he signed it to Aunt Linda. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. That's what it's all yeah. about. Yeah. When you're not looking, I might have to take them headlight bezels for mine. You think? <laughs> I just I just found some. A guy yeah. sent sending them to me from yeah. uh, Minnesota. Yeah. But uh, and I just picked this up an hour and a half ago. Yeah. So I don't really know much about it. We're gonna put it on the back of a trailer behind and the truck that I just bought. You also, yeah. And you guys will remember I did a video for. Uh, a 9500 GMC on here belonged to a buddy of mine named Wayne, and he sold that. And this is the man. To me, that's right. That bought it. Yeah. So. Uh, With Mama's approval, she said, "You're gonna, you're gonna do it anyway." That's so, right. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> and that's already on the trail up because we, we got a 14-hour ride home tomorrow. Yeah. And we wanted to get it going as early as we can. We left room on the trail up for this one, and just as soon as we leave here, we're gonna load it up. We'll leave out early tomorrow morning. Nice. To go back east. It's about 940 miles. Yeah. Now, what are you pulling them with? Uh, he's got a, a 2002 Peterbilt. Yeah. Uh, what Both. is that? A 359? Got Peterbilt? 379. 379. Okay. Yeah, my buddy's yeah. got one down here, that red one, that 379 all the way down there. Yeah. Alan Barnum from up my way. So. Hold it and don't let it, but don't you? Yeah. Yeah. His son took over the business and he's running. Almost 40 trucks out of Bangor, Maine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, does a lot of uh, does a lot of work. Family tradition. His grandfather started delivering uh, delivering farm supplies out of a back of a wagon in 1910. There you go. Nice. And I'm getting to be an old man because I knew his grandfather, I knew his father, I knew know him, and I know his sons and grandsons. <laughs> You know too much. You better be careful. Don't know, you know what they say about guys that know too much? <laughs> that's, that's to be debated. Because I think that half a guy knew a lot, didn't he? <laughs> I keep buying old trucks, so it's questionable whether I know anything. All right. Well, thanks for showing us the truck, Doug. Thank Appreciate you. it. You guys have a safe trip. Thank you. All right. Thank you.